Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning, and today we are looking at a heat pump condenser. I'm gonna go through what this unit is, some of the benefits and features on it, and towards the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about the rebates associated with the heat pumps now uh, that the government, the federal government has, as well as some manufacturer rebates and local state and city rebates. So stay tuned for that. And uh, as always, like my page and subscribe to it and uh, leave a comment in the sections below if you have any questions about it. So basically this is a carrier heat pump condenser. This is the Infinity Green Speed. So it's a 2.5 VNA4. 60A003, that's the five ton model. This uh, is a variable speed condenser, goes from 25% capacity up to 100% capacity on heat and cool. So that means that it's in 1% increment. So it will run at 75 different speeds, depending on what the temperature and humidity is in inside your house and outside your house. Um, we replaced a traditional gas furnace and AC coil and condenser system with this so they went all electric so there's no gas it cools and heats by electric so this is what does the cooling and heating this heat pump condenser it switches a reversing valve to go to heating from cooling um, so this condenser is 35 by 35 on the footprint and they're 47 inches tall and that is in all sizes of this Infinity 24 VNA4. The five ton model is 21 sear, which is very, very efficient. Um, it is also very low in sound. So compared to an old condenser that's typically in the high 70s or mid to high 80s, this condenser, because it's variable speed, runs as low as 58 decibels and as high as 72 decibels, which is still very, very quiet. Um, so this this is also a two wire design outside it's fully communicating so inside you have to match it with the carrier infinity fan coil and the carrier infinity control thermostat for it to work properly and do all of its speeds which give you the communicating capability your wi-fi your fan control so you can set minimum uh, your minimum airflow and your maximum airflow limits on this. It has dehumidification functions on it, which make it very, very nice for when you're trying to keep your house as comfortable and even temperatured as possible. Um, on the outside of this, it does have a nice weather armor protection on it, so it won't keep it, it will keep it nice and won't keep it from rusting or anything like that. It has a 10 year parts warranty and 10 year compressor warranty on it. Um, so, you know, the other things about these heat pump condensers that are, are new is all the rebates associated with them. The carrier manufacturer of this, they have a carrier cool cash rebate, and this one gets $1,350. That's an instant rebate that the contractor actually takes off the invoice. The next rebate that is out there is the federal tax credit. So it is $1,200 for a heat pump plus an additional $2,000 for installing a heat pump. So you can get up to $3,200 uh, for a federal tax credit based on your income, of course. The next uh, rebate that we've heard about but don't have a ton of details or specifics on yet would be the Inflation Reduction Act state rebate. So that is going to be provided by each state. We are in California right now. Um, there are not too many details on it. We do know that it will be based on your zip code, it will be based on your income level, it will be based on changing out a gas furnace for a heat pump system, and finally, the efficiency of the system. Typically, these rebates start at a system that is 16 sear or higher, so you'd have to at least buy that. This one would qualify for that. And those rebates are tiered based on your income level for 2,000 being the higher income people, 4,000 being in the middle of that, and 8,000 would be the top rebate. Once those rebates start to be released to us, we can give you guys more details and information on them, of course. But for now, that's all we know. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, visit us at www.albertair.com. And as always, please like and subscribe to my page. Thank you.